Well, I first met him in a shearing shed in central Queensland. He was knocking the wool off a couple of old weathers down the other end of the board. Looked like he could have done a better job with the tomahawk. So I thought I'd cheer him up a bit. So I walked up to him and I said, straight out and quite simple like, I says, how'd you be? Well, he didn't answer me at first. Just kept knocking the wool off the sheep till he finished the job and he savagely booted them down the chute. Then he straightened up and he inclined his head to one side and spat what seemed to be a stream of molten metal about three yards. Then he straightened up and he fixed me with a pair of eyes in which I could see the fires of a deep hatred burning all the time. And he bored into me with them as he said, How would I bloody well be? He says, How would I be? He said, have a go at me, will you? I got dirt on every square inch of me, bloody hide. He said, I'm cheering cheap, but should have been dog bloody meat years ago. Working for the lousiest coot in Australia. Can't even leave him because the missus has got a bloody hound from Brisbane following me with a maintenance bloody order. He said, I haven't tasted beer for months. Last glass I had was knocked out of my hand by some clumsy clown before I half finished the bloody thing. And you got the hide to ask me how I'd be. How would I bloody well be? Well, I didn't see him again for a few years. And when I did, it was in Sydney, down on Circular Quay. And there was about 50,000 fellas there trying to get into uniform and webbing. The war had just broken out. But I could pick him out all right. He looked like a kangaroo dog trying to sit on a ping pong ball. So I called out to him. How'd you be, digger? He said, how would I bloody well be? He said, have a go at this bloody outfit, will you? He said, go to the bloody hat. Size seven and a half, and I take six and three bloody quarters. He said, I've got a Sydney Mon Herald and a toilet roll in it trying to keep it on me bloody head. He said, how about the shirt? Just get onto the giggling girt, he said. Worth circus have been trying to get off me back all morning to make a big top out of the bloody thing. He said, what about the strides? Sartorial flame and elegance, he said. Straight from Savile Row they are, via bloody Bombay. There's enough room in the seat of them for a brewery horse as well as me. This morning the sergeant said, Hey you, stand to attention. I said, I am at attention, Sarge. Me bloody uniform's at ease. And how about the boots? Enough leather to make a full set of harness and three bloody saddles. And some smart clown's been trying to tell me this is a man's bloody outfit. Well, the next time I saw him was in Tobruk. And he was sitting on an empty shell case. He had a tin hat over one eye and there was a baked bean sliding down the edge of it. His rifle was leaning up against his right knee. The cigarette butt was scorching a hole in his chin and he was trying to clean his nails with the tip of his bayonet. Well, I know I shouldn't have done it, but I walked up and I said, How'd you be, digger? He swallowed the butt and he gave me a really mad look. He said, How would I bloody well be? He said, I've been six months in this rotten bloody hole. That's how I'd be. I can't even go to sleep at night for the whiz-bang thumping and crashing around me bloody ears. If you stick your head out of the trench to have a shufty, every fritz in Africa has a shot at it. He said, how would I be? Swallowing sand with every meal, copping the bloody crow at every handout. He said, to make it worse, I'll tell you straight, mate. It's bloody dangerous here. He said, I'm frightened of dying in the bloody place. That's how I bloody well be. Well, just then there was a tremendous explosion. And when I straightened up and picked myself up, I looked around and I could see I was on a cloud. In the distance, I could see another cloud drifting along and was hanging down on one end a bit. And there was my old mate sitting on that end. So I called out to him and he flew over. And I said, how would you be, brother? He said, how would I be? He said, have a go at the bloody nightgown, will you? He said, I'd trip over it 50 times a bloody day. It takes me ten minutes to haul it up and I want to scratch me bloody knee. He said, how about the halo? Eight sizes too big for me. The only thing keeps it on me head, me bloody ears. Look at the dents in it. It's like a second-hand hula hoop. Here, he says, have a deco at the right wing. She loves me, she loves me not. There's feathers missing off it in every bloody direction. I'm either molten or I've got Newcastle disease, one or the other. Here, he says, before you go, Cop an optic on the bloody harp they give a bloke. Twelve strings missing and band practice in five bloody minutes. And you got the hide to ask me how I'd be. How would I be? 
How would you expect a man to bloody well be? 